Hello and welcome. This is Israel Lopez. And in this video, I want to talk about how to create an ODBC connection for Fishbowl inventory. In my previous videos, uh, I talked about um, using ODBC to connect Excel uh, from to the Fishbowl inventory database. But what is really ODBC? It's an acronym, obviously, and it probably sounds really fancy. You know, what is it actually? And what it stands for is Open Database Connectivity. Now, let's talk about why. Uh, if we look from the perspective of Excel, uh, Excel can use the data that's in databases to make a really good analysis and understanding of uh, disparate data sources. But in the early 70s, 80s, when databases were being really, really popular and becoming the hot uh, technology item, uh, it was pretty common that any application that wanted to connect to a database had their own had the right their own connection to it. And as uh, trends grew and stopped and databases become, uh, you know, one database is very hot, another database is, uh, falls out of favor, it became really difficult for almost any database or any application provider to actually write their own connection to the database. So it really had to finally come to kind of some kind of consensus to make things easier. And that's what ODBC was created. ODBC was created so that applications connect, can connect to databases without having to worry about how that database wanted to be uh, spoken to. The more and more as we learn about uh, programs and, and things like that, like Excel, we realize that it's really built up on top of other older technologies in order for us to uh, make greater use of it, You know, standing on the uh, shoulders of giants, I guess you could say. So ODBC is designed to connect to databases like SQL Server, uh, Fishbowl's Firebird SQL database, and other databases like PostgreSQL or uh, MySQL and things like that, if you're familiar with some of the more popular databases out there. But essentially, if you have an ODBC driver and Excel can talk to ODBC, then you can talk to any databases that support an ODBC driver. So here's our agenda. We're going to talk about how to install the ODBC driver into a Fishbowl inventory uh, database. So we're going to prepare for our installation. We're going to download our resources. We're going to install the ODBC driver. Then we're going to set up that ODBC connection. And finally, I have a surprise at the end of this video. So to prepare for your installation, uh, we really have to talk about two things that I wish I didn't have to talk about, frankly, because it's confusing. And hopefully we make it not confusing in this case. The confusing thing is, is that we have to change how we install things based on the application that we want to run or connect to. And we have to talk about whether that application was written in 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm not going to get into the differences between the two. That just means that it's another topic, probably something I won't ever talk about. But know that some applications were written for 32-bit processors, meaning some older technologies, 64-bit uh, processors, which are the most latest uh, technologies out there. Not bad, not good, There's just they're just different. Um, the quickest way for us to understand if we're going to be using 32-bit is if you don't know, most likely it's going to be 32-bit. In the rare off chance you're using 64-bit applications, we can find that out. So the easiest way to find out is if we go to our task manager and we would want to have the application that we want to connect from open already. And you can already see that if inside a task, man task manager, we can see that Microsoft Excel is running in 32-bit mode. Microsoft actually recommends that we install Microsoft Excel only in 32-bit mode. Although they do offer 64-bit uh, installers, it's not recommended. So mo that's why most of the time I say that if you're going to install to uh, use this with Excel, most likely it's going to be 32-bit. Uh, FedEx, um, uh, FedEx Ship Manager is 32-bit. So is GPS World Ship is 32-bit. Uh, Tableau is 32-bit. So there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to install the 32-bit driver. And we're going to make that assumption in this video. Next, we need to download some resources. I made it easier to download those resources, and all you have to do is click here on the YouTube annotation. If you're not able, uh, able to click on the YouTube annotation, just go to my website, look for ODBC downloads, and you'll find it real quick. 
So since we need to get the 32-bit uh, resources, we're going to download the 32-bit driver. And open the installation application that's contained. And if you want to change, if you want to hide it or just do deployment or developer install, kind of make your system clean, just keep it deployment. Yes and yes and install and we're done. Next we want to download is the 32-bit and 64-bit drivers. Now I believe in 2015.4 these, uh, these drivers are now included in your Fishbowl inventory client installation. So you don't have to worry about these, but if you're using an older Fishbowl system, it's a good idea to download these and extract them. And I'll show you where to extract them now. We're going to open them, copy the two files, navigate to where Fishbowl inventory is installed, ODBC, and we're going to paste it right here. And you can see that I already had a 64-bit driver and a 32-bit driver. That's because Fishbowl typically installs in 64-bit. But don't worry, that's not really applicable to what we're doing now. It's just a little easier when they deploy 64-bit uh, installations that they only send out 64-bit uh, files. But now we have everything that we need to connect correctly into Fishbowl inventory. On to our next step. Installing the Firebird ODBC. So uh, we will, are actually, <laughs> sorry about that. We actually installed it already. Uh, we need to set up the ODBC. Now to set up the ODBC, you're gonna need to know three things. You need, need to know the database path, the, the username and password, and finally, where that DLLs uh, are located. Let's go ahead and do that. So the exact way to get to this if on all systems is if you do control, Windows R, to do the run command and you type in this uh, entry right here C Windows syswow 64 ODBC AD 32.exe I agree this is not the best way to do this but this is the this is the link of the actual installation file or application file that we need to run in order to access the 32-bit um, ODBC setup and I agree it's not the best way to do this but it's not there's no really no other good way to do it. What I clicked on was click on System DSN because we're going to make a, a connection name for all the applications that are running on this computer, and then we're going to click on Add, and then we're going to navigate to the Firebird driver uh, entry, and then click on Finish. And I usually give my uh, connection names something like Fishbowl. I that's the name that that is uh, given for uh, inside of Fishbowl Inventory's documentation. And next we're gonna look for the database. Now, in other database systems, let's say MySQL, you could say Fishbowl could be the database name and that's it. But that's not kinda how it works and in, uh, in how Firebird is set up. You do need to browse to where the database is. And since I have the Fishbowl Inventory server installed in this computer, it's pretty straightforward for me to click on Browse and navigate to that. But most likely, you'll be connecting to a different server where the Fishbowl server is installed elsewhere. So you'll need to make sure you get the database path from that computer. I don't recommend you to do something like this where you do a, a mapped drive and you connect to the database folder that way. That's actually not a good idea. So don't do that. Secondly, is you're, con you're going to be connecting to a, a computer that's typically not your computer. So you need to do some extra to make the connection work. You do need, you do need to specify the IP address. So something like uh, 192.168.0.2 with a colon separating the IP address and the database path. That's exactly how Fishbowl Inventory wants you to, uh, Firebird wants you to connect the database information to the, uh, to the ODBC. But in this case, that, that's not relevant, that's not accurate for us, so we're gonna delete it. But remember, you do need to put the IP address, colon, and then the full database path. 
Next is we need to navigate to the actual client file and we're going to navigate to that same folder that we had set up inside our ODBC folder and we're going to want to connect to the FB client 32.dll. Next is the database account and this is something that everyone should know. The database account is gone phishing and that is a special read-only uh, access account that Fishbowl set up to uh, allow systems like uh, WorldShip and FedEx Ship Manager to connect into Fishbowl inventory, pull data in, and post some uh, shipment data back out. And hopefully if we, everything's gone well, we're going to click on Test Connection and it's going to work just fine. Perfect. That's all we needed. Click OK and click OK. No other settings were required to make this work. Just click OK on the Data Source Administrator window and we're fine. And because I have a previous demonstration uh, uh, Excel file connecting to the Fishbowl ODBC connection, uh, I can test it by clicking on the refresh button under Design Table Tools, and there's no error. It went out, connected to the Fishbowl inventory database, ran a query, pulled down the data, and gave it back to me. Now we know that it's working. It's working as intended. And if you want to learn how to create one of these files, click on the annotated link right now and we'll take that and I'll take you to a new a next video where we show you how to use Excel effectively with ODPC. So the surprise. So we just went through this. It took about about 10 minutes to go through this whole process of setting up ODPC. It's not easy. Um, but for someone like me or other technical people, it might be. So understanding that I'm thinking about creating an application where it goes out and logs into the official inventory database, gets all the necessary information that it needs, and then figures out what, you know, a uh, 32 uh, bit or 64 bit version of the driver you might need based on what version Excel you have. And then it's just as easy as typing in your username and password to Fishbowl Inventory, clicking up setting, setting up ODBC, and you're done. It goes through that process where we just downloaded the files, put the files in the right place, uh, installed the ODBC driver, set up the configuration correctly, and hopefully with three steps, we can skip all of this and uh, get you closer to using ODBC in Excel. If you like this video and are thinking about uh, discussing it or want to give me some ideas on how to create some other videos, please visit our user group at fbusergroup.com. We'd love to have you there. Um, that's it for today. Thank you and take care.